NPK is a ratio. If you don't know what that is, click on this tutorial on the top right. But basically, NPK represents how much N or nitrogen is in the nutrient mix in relation to P, which is phosphorus, and K, which is potassium. These are the three main macronutrients that every plant needs, and almost every nutrient sold has this three number ratio listed on the box or the bottle. Now, in order to hit these target ratios, you need to do some math. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I took the optimal NPK ratio for strawberries as proven in this scientific study. I took that ratio and I'm gonna calculate how to blend my own nutrients to make it. We're gonna use General Hydroponics Flora Trio to do this, but if you're in Europe, it's basically the same as Tripart. The only difference is that the Flora Grow is gonna be a 316 instead of a 216, so you wanna factor that into your calculations. So we got this NPK 225, 180, 260. The easiest thing we could do is we're gonna take this Flora Micro, Flora Grow, Flora Bloom. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna paste it here, okay? Shift cells down. I'm also going to insert, shift this to the right, shift this to the right, shift this to the right. Okay, and then you'll see this right here is nitrogen, this right here is phosphorus, and this right here is potassium. And these are gonna be my inputs in milliliters, okay? So, if our target down here is going to be 225 nitrogen, right? 180 phosphorus and 260 potassium, we're gonna have to mix and match quantities of micro grow and bloom to hit this target. So off the bat, you know that nitrogen is mainly in flora micro. You see flora bloom has none. So process of elimination says you're gonna have mainly flora micro be the 225. Let's start at around 200 ppm. You know, five times 40 of flora micro is gonna be 200 right here. What we can do is input a function that says I am product, which is multiplication. This is gonna be the input multiplied by this quantity right here, which is the N in flora micro, which calculates 200. I mean, you could do it manually, but I'm gonna automate this whole thing. Right here on this bottom right, if I drag it down, now, Whenever I input a number here, it's gonna calculate this number multiplied by the N in Flora Grow, because the MPK is 216. Now the Flora Grow needs to make up for that 25 difference between 225 and 200. So we'll round it off, we'll do 12 here. You see it calculated that automatically. Now our total here is 224. Now, we already put these inputs here, and you'll see zero. This would have been a zero, but we're going to put a function in here as well. I am product, input milliliters, phosphorus right there. That's going to be 40 times zero, which gives you zero. Then we drag the function down, and it calculated the flora growth field, which was 12 times one or 12. So now, we know flora micro is 501, so it has zero phosphorus. We just got 12 phosphorus from flora grow. The difference right here is 168. So we'll see the phosphorus in flora bloom is five. So 168 divided by five, let's say like 33, close enough. You'll see now, we got a total of 177, all right? So we're pretty close. 
Now, we haven't even calculated what we got for potassium from these numbers, but we're going to put a function in here. I am product again from that input multiplied out by that potassium field equals 40 from flora micro. And let's see what other numbers we got. So easy thing you could do to do math here is just type the numbers in, highlight those fields, and you'll get that sum 244. So it's not perfect, but we could tweak the numbers. We know we need 16 more potassium and then three more phosphorus and one more nitrogen. You know that flora grow has most of the potassium and if we need 16 and this has six, let's bump up this number by two because two times six is 12 and we need 16. So 12 on top of that is gonna be 256, right? We got two more here because we added two. That's 179. And then two more here, which is 228. All right. So if you see 200 plus 28, 228, that's 179. Correct. And then this is 124, 256. All right. I don't think there's much more we could do to get closer. 228, 179, 256 is probably as close as it's going to get. Now, I actually measured how much the PPM changes with one milliliter of each of these nutrients to a gallon. And those figures are going to be 66, 39, 31 PPMs. Okay. So we're going to figure out how concentrated the juice is because we might not want to use that much. So again, we're putting a function here. I am product. We're multiplying this with this PPM. I think I messed up. B15 times K15. Okay, 2640. Boom, boom. Again, 2640. 546, 1023. I'm going to add those up. 4209 is our total PPM. All right. Now, this is a concentrate. We're not actually feeding our plant 4209 PPM, right? According to this study, the optimal PPM on your nutrient feed is 500 to 700 PPM. You're taking the amount of water you think your plant needs, then you're taking this juice and you're adding it to the water with your TDS meter submerged in it, mixing while you're pouring until you hit the target of 500 to 700 PPM. Once you hit that target, stop, and now you're gonna pH balance your feed so that you hit 6.2, which is the optimal feed for strawberries. This is what we're feeding our strawberry plant. And to make this juice last longer, you could add a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and place this in a cool, dark place. And that's it. That's how we calculated the optimal nutrient feed for your strawberry plants. If you value this content, smash that like, hit that bell. And if you want to watch a video of this juice being made, click the thumbnail on the top right. Said I couldn't grow pineberries.